Now then, welcome to another video and another project that I've been working on. Um, now I painted all these about three or four years ago now, and I have actually made a video in the past, um, but I got some really harsh criticism on my video, I'll say. Um, and what I've done is I've removed it. I haven't watched it back. Um, yeah, it was a pretty poor, poor video, poor effort on my part. Um, I think I was really struggling to focus on them with my camera and things and it all just went wrong. It was one of those days, um, but I, I posted the video anyway and I got some proper, proper got told off by a few people. But, you know, because it's this is my job apparently and uh, they're entitled to um, say what they want. But anyway, that's the nature of social media, isn't it? And, and things, put things on the internet and you're opening yourself up to get criticised. But anyway... I'll just keep waffling on about that. So these are what I originally cl collected. And I was going to do a force for the peninsula. And I was going to use these as Brunswick OL's Jaegers in the peninsula. And that's why I painted the... These are all lead battalion figures for 1815. And these are the kind of, at the time, were the closest match I could find to the, the Brunswickers that fought in the peninsula. Um, but Perry's have recently brought out an actual range of figures for the peninsula for the Brunswickers. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change these slightly uh, to bring them in line to 1815. I think what I might do is collect the entire Brunswick Corps in 1815. So I think it's only eight battalions. You got the lead battalion, which I've already got here. Um, and then I need... The first, second, and third light battalions, the first, second, and third line battalions, and then an advanced guard. And then there's a small cavalry unit, hussars and lancers, or ulans, and a couple of artillery batteries. So it's, so it's quite a doable force in 28mm. Um, it's quite a self contained little force. So I think that's what I'll do. I've just always been fascinated by the Brunswick because I'm not quite sure what it is about them, whether it's the uniforms or their kind of story of how they came into being and all that sort of stuff. If you Google the Brunswick Corps or the Black Band, there's loads of videos out there. Um, there's quite a few books on them and things as well. So, yeah, these are all Perry miniatures. Um, so it's just the, the lead battalion marching uh, with, a, with a command set added in. I'll show you one of the officers. Uh, the drummer. So yeah, they're a little bit chipped actually. So, you know, they've never been on the table. I don't know how things get damaged all the time. What I did, I, I created three skirmish stands as well. For them, probably don't need that many. I'm planning on playing Soldiers of God. Not Soldiers of God. Um, soldiers of Napoleon even. Yeah, but it's not turned up yet. I've ordered it. I've actually had one game before and I actually really enjoyed it. There's a sergeant there trying to keep his lads in line. Yeah, really enjoy painting these. I'd, I'd like to do the rest of them. Got the uh, the Duke of Brunswick here as well. There he is there. With his pipe. And his officer. And I painted up an ADC. So he's kind of delivering the orders to his officer there like that. Um the ADC as in Hazar uniform or Hazar officer's uniform. Yeah. They do look cool, don't they? Not my painting, I mean, but the, the actual uniforms themselves are black with the with the blue piping and everything and the blue edges. Just looks really striking, really cool. Very different as well. So yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna do. Um be a slow burning project, but yeah. It's very doable. So if you're looking for a, a small force to do for Napoleonics, Brunswick Corps, it's only small. Two little brigades, a bit of cavalry, some artillery, jobs are good. Anyway, I'll let you know how I get on with this uh, and I'll speak to you again soon. Bye bye.